Hey, so, um, I'm gonna be making a new video now. Uh, basically it's just gonna be my phone pointed down at the- at my bed, and just blackness with me talking. Because, like, it, it's gonna be like a podcast, like, you can listen to it while you, I don't know, work or play something or- I don't know. Um, I find that I usually really like those, like, um, I remember the Cold Ones podcast, I listened that, to that while I played, like, the classic Legend of Zelda, and it was great, but, um, yeah, this is what I'm gonna try to, this is just what I'm gonna do with my channel now, because it doesn't take much editing, um, and yeah, uh, so basically, it, um, I, I'm just gonna like talk about my day and how it went. Um, this is like take two, so it's gonna be kind of annoying to say this all again, but um, whatever, uh, yeah, whatever. It's my fault for messing up the first take. Um, so, yeah. Basically, my day went like this. I just, like, got I'm saying like so much. Um, I got up, and, um, I took my laptop upstairs and put it on the dining room table and then I got like I went to the couch and I slept for another like 45 minutes and then I woke up and then um I went and what sucked is that my first class is gym and um we are doing google meets of course but um because, like, we have cohorts, or that's what they call them. I don't know what that means. But there's cohort A, and cohort B, and I'm in cohort A. And on one day, cohort A will actually be in school, and cohort B will be on Google Meets. And then on another day, it'll be the other way around. So I was on Google Meets that day. Um, but what sucks is... We're going back to, like, full-time, in-person, um, stuff, and, like, you know, that requires social interaction and actually getting out of the house, which, um, I, I do not support that, but, uh, yeah. Then, uh, I exercise. We did, like, a Zumba thing, and that made me pretty tired, but also woke me up a little. And then I went to French, and we, uh, did like a math, well, we were talking about, like, I don't remember much from French. I think we were talking about, like, a Mardi Gras mask that we were making, um, and, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's what they, well, God, I am so dumb. I'm pretty sure that's what we did, but I don't know. I don't completely remember. Uh, and then, um, we did, like, um, what did we do? We did, like, fucking, uh, third period. God, I'm, ugh. I, I need to get my brain working. I need, like, a coffee or something. Um, so, before we talk about third period, I, there's always been, like, a war on, of coffee versus tea, but, like, I like both. Both are really good. Like, coffee is super good, and, um, sometimes it makes me tired, which is a little weird, 
And then sometimes it makes me just so overly energized that it's just terrible. Um, but, uh, whatever. So, but yeah, and then there's tea, which is like a lot, I guess you would say lighter. Um, that, that, I mean, that's how I would describe it. Um, but I like tea too, because like tea is really good. Um, like I like this tea called Lemon Zinger, and that we had like these fruit teas, and I mixed up like the cherry and the peach one, and it was like fucking delicious. It was so good. Um, and then there's also like apple tea. Um, uh, yeah, so apple tea, um, it's like a red apple tea, but, like, it's not red apple, it's red tea that's apple flavored. Um, so, yeah, and then, um, what else is there? Uh, there's also red, just plain old red tea, which is great. One time I put, like, a candy cane in it, and it was amazing. Um. So, yeah. Uh. So, yeah, those are the teas that I like. And also, if I ever get, like, super bloated, I'll get, like, uh, wait, hold on, fucking stupid game, okay, there we go, I'll get, uh, oh yeah, sorry, I'm not, like, showing the gameplay, um, uh, I'm playing Pokemon Mystery Universe, which is like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, except like an online MMORPG. Or, I mean, is it really an RPG? I don't know what really defines as an RPG. But, um, yeah, I'm a little fan fee or fan I think. Because I love fan But, as I was saying. Um, what was I... T- <laughs> You know, I feel like I have brain damage from all the times I've hit my head. Like, the time I got hit in the head by a big rock and a basketball. And I was on one of those spinny things at, like, a playground. And I let go and fucking slammed my head into the, um, the ground. And honestly, I'm pretty sure I have brain damage. Like, I have been hit in the head so many times. But, uh, as I was saying, and I'll have to talk about the times I hit my head. One was, like, in a forest. And that's, like, a whole other thing that I want to talk about. Not specifically the hitting the head part, but whatever. So, um, well, I was talking about third period, right? I think I was. Was I? I don't know, but, um, so yeah, third period. Um, I went to third period on the Google Classroom. And I, like, we did, like, iReady, which iReady is terrible. I hate iReady. Um, and especially, because, like, iReady is only math and language arts, or at least I'm pretty sure. So, there, and there are math and language arts diagnostics we have to do. And I'm fine with the math one. I don't know why, but it's just easy to do math problems, or, I mean, if I understand it, you know, 
but, um, I, like, uh, we were talking about, like, the iReady stuff we needed to do, and so there's all that, uh, so, god, I really need to fucking focus on the video, I'm so sorry, I'm, like, just really, just not focusing right now trying to focus on the game and the video but yeah uh i just need to focus on what i'm talking about which is third period so in third period we did the iReady thing and like i mean as i was saying about like the math iReady i'm fine with the math uh, the math diagnostic but like when it comes to um like uh the ELA diagnostic i uh, it's just so hard cuz like i have symptoms of ADHD i but not like ADHD only symptoms so it's so hard to focus on um like, words, and, like, reading, just, like, how I'm struggling to focus right now, you know, uh, it's hard to focus on, like, words and reading, so, you know, that sucks, and, but it's cool, like, I can get through it, I'm at 71%, but, like, also, like, retaining information and all that. It, it, it sucks. It sucks. But I can get through it, you know? I can get through it. So, uh, in third period, we did an assigned iReady lesson. And, um... So, yeah, it... Uh, uh, yeah, that's just what we did in third period. And then fourth period, um, which I used to have, um, drama for fourth period, Mr. Laville. He was pretty funny, and, um, drama was fun, but honestly, I w did terrible in drama with, like, finishing and turning in work. Um, but one good thing I did was a commercial where, um, I made it on Life Serial, and, uh, basically, it was just, like, uh, uh, um, dark humor thing, where the, the dude in the video like, the, doing the, the narrator, the narrator, you know, actually, I think I'm just gonna stop playing this, because it's just so hard to focus on, like, talking, so, the narrator, he, uh, well, the narrator was me, and then also the person in the video was me, because, like, who wouldn't want anyone else but me? <laughs> but, yeah, the, just joking. Um, but, yeah, the narrator, it was basically a dark humor thing where the narrator was, like, he was, like, super miserable and, um, he was, like, trying to advertise the cereal but then he just kind of broke down and was like just please buy the cereal I'm drowning in credit card debt and I need to pay rent or whatever and uh yeah it and then the other joke was that the actual person in the commercial was like freaked out because they didn't know where the disembodied voice was coming from so they called the police I was very proud of it because it made Mr. Laville, um, laugh, and I was like, yeah, I did a good thing, woo, um, 
um, let's see, one sec, I'm gonna find something that just, like, a brainless activity, like, that I can just do without thinking about it, um, yeah, I'll just talk for now, so yeah, but, uh, yeah, and it made him laugh, and I was like, yeah, I did a good thing. But now my fourth period is family consumer science. I don't know exactly what that means. It has to do with, like, money and food, uh, ba- making food and sewing or whatever. Yeah, I say or whatever a lot. And also, you know, and like, and, um, and yeah, I, I say a lot of things a lot. <laughs> um... And then, like, I never notice it while I'm, you know, speaking, but I always notice it when, uh, I listen to myself in recording, which, like, I've gotten used to my voice in recording. Um, usually, uh, people sound different in recording, and I was terrified to learn that, like, the voice I hear in recording is what other people hear from me, and I was like, oh god, that's terrible. Because, like, I hated my voice in recording so much. But now I'm used to it, though, so it's all good. Um, but, yeah. Then, uh, right now we're doing sewing and we're making a pillow. And mine has a coffee pattern and I can't wait to finish it. But, in that class, uh, we did, like, this career thing where we plan, we, we learned about what career we might want or whatever. And then in, um, uh, break, next was break, it was lunch. I just kind of watched YouTube. Um, and, like, slept a tiny bit because I was laying down. Um, and then after that, uh, I made a bowl of Raisin Bran because I love Raisin Bran. Like, uh, like, uh, most people who haven't tried it probably just think it's, like, a gross healthy cereal. But it's fucking top tier, honestly. It's a really good cereal. You, if you have not tried it, you need to try it. Also, Life, like, is advertised as a healthy cereal. And, you know, it probably is. But, um, it's also really good. It's just that I never eat the right proportion of it. I always, like, fill the bowl to the brim. Because I'm fat stupid a fat person I eat every I literally have a stash I have a stash of like Rice Krispie Treats and Pop Tarts and Chex Mix and Cheetos and cookies and Starbursts and like these things these raisin chocolates But to be fair, I only, like, made the stash, like, two nights ago, and I haven't eaten out of it yet. So, it doesn't count. It's mostly just for on the weekend, when I, uh, just want some unhealthy food, and I'm allowed to have it, because it's the weekend. But, um... I was talking about the break and then fifth period. Fifth period is social studies and geography and stuff. And we were doing an assign a well, an ins- uh, an assignment. I cannot English write. Um we were doing an assignment where we list uh river valleys where ancient civilizations lived on a map and like physical features and stuff and um yeah and then in a sixth period we just talked about a new project we were doing it it was six periods art by the way and it was just using all the art skills we learned to like draw something um that's gonna be great 
but um then seventh period was uh the i ready thing i was talking about the diagnostic i still had to do that so i did that and then eighth period was um doing a thing where like we made atom not atom molecules and like sugar and stuff using like different colored marshmallows to represent like hydrogen and oxygen and carbon and we connected them with toothpicks um but of course I was at home so I just did the packet that came with it um and then I ate this thing that was like flat bread with like potato and meat and egg rolled into it and I uh, those things are amazing um it's so good. And, like, cheese and uh, chef's kiss. But, uh, uh, oh, yeah, if I made a restaurant, it would just, it would have eggs. It would just have eggs in, like, every meal. Like, egg pasta, egg ramen, which I want to talk about that a little more. Um, but, like, egg, egg chicken, just... I, I, like, a meal with just, like, a bunch of egg and chicken. Because, hey, who wouldn't want a mom and their fetus in one meal? It, it, it's a perfect meal. Who would not want that? Um, and then, uh, <laughs> just for funsies, we'd have a chicken petting zoo. <laughs> hey, like, hey, chicken you're so cute, I want to pet you. And then you just, like, go up next to them, like, super close. I just ate your unborn fetus, stupid chicken. Like, <laughs> um, but yeah, it would be called the big egg. Uh, and, yeah, but that's what I did for most of the day, and then I came up downstairs in the basement in my room, which, don't worry, it's not, like, a one of the gross basements. It's, like, a carpeted, nice basement, and my room has, like, a bathroom, but it also has a lot of spiders. Um, last, or, like, I think two nights ago, I, um, found a huge one ca crawling on the ground, so... I got, like, a, one of my dirty glasses that I hadn't brung up to the upstairs yet. And I just trapped it in that. Um, and then I put it outside. Uh, but yeah. Uh, but oh yeah, I wanted to elaborate on the, um, egg ramen. Because I love ramen. Because, I mean, who doesn't love instant ramen? And so... What I did is I took a bowl of water, I put it in the microwave for 1 minute 30 seconds, then I put the um, block of ramen in it, and I cooked that for 3 minutes, and then I took it out, and I like um, broke up the ramen a little bit, um, a little bit more, because like, it couldn't completely thin the bowl, so I had to break it up a bit, so it could all get the water and get cooked and stuff. But then I broke it up a little more. Like, not really break it up, just, like, make it so that they're not just, like, tough little clumps of noodle. Like, you know, y y you get it, you get it. Probably, hopefully. And, um, then I, uh, then I put a big bowl over the, I mean a big plate over the bowl to trap the heat inside, and I did that for two minutes to let it cook for a little longer, uh, and then after that, I didn't know where, like, a strainer was, so I put the ramen in, like, a bag and poked holes in the bag with a pair of scissors, and I drained out all that water, and then I put it in a pot with, uh, 
a, a not a pot, a pan with like five eggs and the ramen flavor packet mixed that up. I cooked it. It was delicious. But after a little bit, like after a couple of bites, it was just, I felt like I was going to have a heart attack eating it. Which, I mean, it was technically healthy. Like, it had a ton of egg. That's a bunch of healthy protein, you know. But, um, but it probably did have a lot of carbs, though. But, so yeah, of course I didn't eat all of it. But, um, yeah, but it was super good, though. Uh, and I just remembered, um, I was, like, talking about, like tea but I never finished I just remembered that I was talking about tea and coffee and um what I was saying was um like when I get super bloated I like take peppermint and ginger tea and I fill up a wad a mug all the way which, like, usually with tea, you'd only fill it up, like, halfway. Um, but since I was doing two tea packets, I filled it up all the way. And I put the ginger and the peppermint tea in it. And I cooked that and whatever. Well, I guess not. I mean, sort of. I, technically speaking, it was cooked, but whatever. And um, I put lemon juice and coconut oil in it. And that really helps with, like, bloating, you know? Um, cause, like, I had the bu- buble waters, um, the buble sparkling waters, and they make- made me super bloated. Um, but yeah, then, uh, I, I, uh, what did I do next? What was I gonna talk about? <laughs> um, oh. Another series I want to do on this channel is, like, a Nuzlocke series. Like, a randomizer Nuzlocke. I think that'd be super fun. For those of you who don't know, which, I mean, I guess no one's really watching this, but, um, uh, but if there's anyone watching that doesn't know, uh, a Nuzlocke is a Pokemon thing. It's a set of self-imposed rules where... If your Pokemon faints, then it's dead and you can't use it. You have to catch, um, every, like, you have to catch, you can only catch the first Pokemon on every route that you find. And, um, uh, you have to name your Pokemon to get attached to it. And, like, of course, I could go into much greater detail, but I don't care about that. Um... But yeah, it'd be super fun to do that. Um, maybe once I get, like, editing, you know? I mean, of course, I... You get what I mean. Once I start editing um, and get my iPad that specifically got bought for that reason. Um, yeah. So... Uh, what are some other things I want to talk about? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. I don't know what I want to... I was just going to kind of talk about um, my day, you know? I think I'll start doing, like, things where I talk about uh, my childhood and, like, just my life in general. Just, like, starting from when I was a little baby up to now, um, uh, I'll call this the, um, I don't know, the something saga or whatever, uh, but yeah, so I guess I'll talk about all that other stuff in another video. But you know what, actually, I think there are some things that I do want to talk about. You know My Hero Academia? Um, if you don't, well, it's basically like an anime where, like, basically the majority of the human population 
has like superpowers called quirks. And I think my quirk would be the power to like anything I put in my mouth, I can shoot it out like at the speed of like a bullet, as long as it can fit in my mouth and all that. I think that'd be a very fun ability to have. Kind of like the opposite of Kirby's ability. Um, uh, and yeah, that'd be super cool. I could make like an OC or whatever. Uh, God, I really need to stop saying whatever so much. Or, or like, er, whatever, you know? And, and you know, like, God, I can't stop saying them. Uh, okay, hold on. I can do this. Okay. I will stop saying, um, and like, and whatever, and stuff. Okay, starting now, starting now. Let, let, let's see if I can do it. So, and also, because, like, I like the aspect of having your own individual power or um and I, I like that concept or your own individual whatever just your own individual thing like in anything like if there was a paper plane fandom um where people raced paper airplanes I would love it for like everyone to have their own paper airplane that's like unique to them um for example I love Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and a huge part of that is the concept of stands I love the concept of stands so much and I actually created one of my own, like, a thousand times. But I think I've got it, got it, like, right now. Like, I think I've finally gotten, I made the right one for me. It's called Sleepy Time Time. Because basically, the, co like, Sleepy Time Time is just a song about life being a chore and, like, just wanting to sleep and be lazy. Which is the like a huge part of the reason the stand manifested, cause like it manifested, cause I really just didn't want to deal with all the shit about life, and so I just my stand, um, manifested into like a little ball that I can go inside and, like, there are little rooms inside the ball. It, it, it's like Mr. President and also burning down the house, but I swear it's different. And even if it's not that different, it still makes sense for me, so I don't care. And I mean, plus there's, like, doggy style, like, the stand doggy style, which basically does the same thing as the stand stone free, so, whatever. It, it, just shut up, shut up. Um, it, it's a cool stand. I'll, I'll explain why. So, basically, it's this little ball. Um, and the stand represents, like, my mind and, like, my imagination. Because, like, um, a lot of the times what happens is I drift off and, like, space out. And so, I get, I, I, and then I, like, imagine stuff. So, it kind of represents how I escape to my imagination, like, if I'm at school or something. Uh, it's incredibly hard to break, um, but, and I can change its size to a certain extent, uh, Whatever I touch with it, I can suck into the ball, but, um, if it's as long as it's within a certain distance of me, I can just get sucked into the ball without having to touch it. Um, and basically, it's this little ball, it's like a, kind of like a violet, or like, 
yeah, kind of like a violet. Just like a pinkish purple, you know? And with like a red heart on it. Um, or maybe a pink heart, I don't know. I'm still thinking about that. Um, I, I'm really still thinking on the color, like, deciding on the color, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, uh, it has, like, a pattern on it that kind of looks like cracked glass. And I, I didn't do this for any kind of reason, that's just... When I first imagined, like, I thought up how the stand would look, that's what I thought. So, it just because. Um, but, like, it's not, like, crack. Like, it, it looks more... Like, the cracks are more like little trenches that are carved into the ball, I guess. And when you hold the ball, it's very light and, like, feels hollow. Um, but yeah, it, um, just represents how I want to get away from everything. Basically, I can create whatever room I'm in inside the ball. Um, and this includes outside. So if I'm outside and I activate it, it'll be like just the general area that I'm in. Yeah? What? Did you seriously not hear your phone at all? I don't know. I, I didn't... I'm recording a video right now. I don't know. How can you block Leah? You almost never do it. Uh, well, why? That's because it's not my job. I have other jobs, like picking up the dog's poop. Like, imagine if I was like, hey, go pick up dog... Okay. Sorry about that, that was my brother. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, what was I saying? I was saying, oh yeah, stands. Um, it, and like, anything I make in the room can't, like, come out of the ball. Um, and so... I could, like, traps. Wait, what's that? One sec. Okay, well, um, yeah, sorry about that. So, um, I, um, yeah, anything that, n nothing can come out of the room. So I was thinking that I could, like, trap someone in my stand by, like, ma like, um, them eating or drinking something inside my stand, and then, like, the not being able to leave because, uh, they would have the things that can't leave inside their body. So, um, if they tried to leave, they either just wouldn't be able to, or if they really tried, then they might, like, get injured,
Sorry, I just I heard a door closing really loudly. I, I don't know. It's probably nothing. So, um, but, yeah, what was it? Yeah, so, and then, like, it would get to a point where, like, like, I mean, they'd probably have to, like, throw it up or something just to, like, get out. Because, like, if they digested it, then the nutrients that they would get from it would, like, um, it would, like, become part of them. So they would literally not be able to leave. And then if I... Um, made the thing that they ate and it's now part of them disappear then I could like really damage them um or I could do a lot of other things because like I think what it also represents is I like taking weak things and like making like doing different strategies to make them super strong um uh so that would be a good stand for me, because I could do that. Like, for example, I could, like, touch someone with the ball and then suck them inside the ball and then throw it up, like, super high into the air so that they would, like, fall. Or, um, uh, suck someone in the ball and then put it in a fire so that they wouldn't be able to escape it. Also, any damage done to the ball does not get, uh, does not you know, get transferred to me. Um, and also it can't really be affected by any kind of stand ability. Because, you know, the whole point is to protect me from the outside world and all the stress of having to do all that. So, you know, that that's what its purpose is, then that's why I can do that. Um, and I was talking about how it's, like... Um, it's a good stand even though it's like, um, burning down the house or, um, Mr. President. And, like, here's why. Well, number one, it just makes sense for me. And number two, it would be so much cooler because it'd be like Mr. President, except if Mr. President was, like, in the hands of a human, and they could use it in so much more creative ways. Um, or, like, burning down the house. Burning down the house just makes an entire lead... Like, it just makes rooms. And, like, something about, like, ghost objects, you know? Like, did they, the object got destroyed and it's, it's ghost or whatever. Um, and so it, it's, like, a lot different from my stand. And then with Mr. President, it, it's, it, there are a lot of differences. And, um, I, I, I think I made a pretty cool stand. Um, I actually want to make, like, a fan fiction. Um, and then that'd be cool. Because I could make, like, my own part where I'm the main character, you know? And then I'm thinking I could, like, make a fan fiction where it's, like, if Shizuku Joestar, you know, the invisible baby had a part, and then I can be, like, a side character in that. But, yeah. So, uh, I think it's a pretty cool ability. Also, if I, like, threw it behind someone, and then, um, got sucked into it, then I would, like force my way through that person to get inside to get to the ball and go inside it so I could like make a hole in someone's chest that way or um I I could use it for a lot of things getting in small spaces all that good stuff it it, it's a really cool stand and I like it and yeah um and I could have also named it Fake Empire, and that would have definitely, um, also made sense. Um, but honestly, 
the Fake Empire is a much more serious song, while Sleepy Time Time is a much less serious song. And I'm a much less serious person. So I think it just makes sense. Um, uh, but yeah. I may someday talk about the other stands I made. They kind of suck, but I might talk about them. Uh, and yeah. Uh, I think that's about it for the video. This is going to take forever to upload because my phone is a piece of garbage. And this has been like 45 minutes going on 46 minutes. So yeah, um, uh, I wonder if I'll ever get enough subscribers to like have a thing like the, you know, how like, um, you, you, you get it, you get it. Like, they're... The, what the YouTuber calls their subscribers, you know. Um, uh, I don't know if I'll ever get enough to, like, call my subscribers something. Like, I don't know. Um, but, yeah. I, uh, I don't really have an outro yet. But, uh, yeah, I hope this does well. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go do other stuff. I, you know, I actually, I don't know what I'm gonna do after this. But, yeah, hope you liked the video. Bye.